So we're continuing our Bhagavad Gita memorization course, chapter 15, titled The Yoga of the Supreme Person, aka Superman's Yoga. And we are memorizing verses one, two, three, and now we're working on verses three. Uh, anybody have verse two memorized? Clayton, chance. I think Bailey put his hand up too. Can you can you share us one and two? Troy, can you can you share us? Who uh, Clayton's gonna he's he's ready to go. You want me to share two or one and two together, yeah. Okay. Urdva mulamada shakam ashvatam prahuravyayam chandam siyasya parnani. Yastam Veda Saveda Vit Adash Chordvam Prasritas Tasya Shaka Guna Guna Pravrida Vishaya Pravala Adash Chamulan Yanushantatani Karmanu Bandini Manusha Loke Hare Krishna. Nice, nice. Very good, very good. Who's 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 going after Clayton? Chance, you want to give it a give it a chance. Ha 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 ha. Okay. Um, Sri Bhagavan Uvacha Urva Mulam Adachakam Ashvatam Prahor Vyayam. Chandamsi Yasya Purnani Yastam Veda Sam Veda Aras Aras Chorvam Prasvitas Tashishaka Guna Prafrida Vishaya Vishya Vishya Pravala Senses Vishya Pravala Aras Chamulani Anusantatani um, Action. I got it. I got it. Yeah. Has... Kamanu Bantini Manusia Loke. Man. This is very good. This is very good. Um, it's only going to get easier. You already got two. It's only going to get easier. Who, who's, who wants to do it next? Bailey? Sure. Shri Bhagavan Uvacha, Urdva Mulam Adashakam, Ashvatam Prahora Vyayam, Chandamsi Yasya Parnami, Yastam Vedasa Vedavit, Adash Chordvam Prasritas Tasya Shaka, Guna Pravrida, Vishaya Pravalaha, Adash Chamulani Anusantatani. Uh, Action. Kar karma Nu Bandini Manushiloke. Awesome. Ooh. Awesome. Troy. All right. <clears throat> Shri Bhagavan Uvacha Urva Mula Madashakam Ashvatam Pahura Vyayam Chandam Siyasya Parnam Yastam Veda Sabeda Vit Adash Chorvam Prasvitas Tasya Sharkam Guna Prabhrita Visaya Pravala Adascha Mulani Anu Santatani Karmanu Bandini Manu Shaloke Haribo. Who can tell me what does Shaka mean? Branches. Branches. And Ashvatam. Who can tell me what Ashvatam means? Banyan tree. Banyan tree. And who can tell oh, me? Impermanent. 
yeah, uh, the this dual meaning is impermanent. The ashra no tomorrow tam place. Okay, Chapu, what is mulam? Roots. Roots. Yes. And ba uh, Bailey, what is prashrita? Prashrita. And Anusantatani. Anusantatani is extended. Prasrita. Could you give me the line that that's in? It's the same as Anusantatani. Oh, that's, a, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, extended. That's in the exactly. first line in Ashu. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. Um, all right. And Wordva, Matthew? Matthew, Urdva. I was thinking, I was in Samadhi. Um, if you take like a, a, a Yangar yoga course, they, they, they say all the, ver the, all the poses in Sanskrit. Is Ur that downward? Urdva, upward. Mukha. <laughs> Urdva Mukha Svanasana, upward facing down, dog upward. and Ada Mukha Shwanasana, downward facing dog. So, Urdva, Adha. Abaho, that's the one, that's the one. Abaho, Adha, Abaho, Abaho. There you go. Urdva. Okay. So let's look at this third verse. And we're just going to do verse three. We'll do next week, we'll do uh, next Wednesday, we'll do verse four. Okay, um Narupa Maseha Tato Palabyate Nanto Nachadir Nachasham Pratishta Ashvatamenam Sivarudamulam Asanga Sastrena Dridena Chitva Narupam asyeha tato palabhyate nanto nachadir nacha sampratishtha ashvatam enam savarudamulam asanga sastrena jadena chitva. Okay, so without looking at the book, does anybody know any of these words? Rupa, what does rupa mean? Form. Form, yes. Uh, what does na mean? Negative, yeah. Na, na, yeah. Na rupam. Asya is just like this, you know, whatever they're talking about. What's that? Is that a, it's a pronoun? It's a, what's the grammatical term? This, that, some kind of identif. So yeah, asyeha tato upalabhyate. Let's look at some other words. Adi, what does Adi mean? Matthew's saying something, but he's on mute. Adi, I think, so I think this might be French though. I think that means year. Oh, okay. <laughs> but that's French. Uh, beginning, sorry, beginning. I looked. So if you have the Chaitanya Charitamrita volume, uh, the, the book is divided in the Adi Lila. Madhya Lila and the Antya Lila. Beginning, middle, beginning, Adi, Madhya, middle, and Antya, N. What brand of shoes does Krishna wear? Clayton. Okay, you're on mute. Adidas. Adidas, <laughs> yes. Because because who's Krishna's shoes? Who who takes the role of becoming the shoes, the umbrella, and the bed of Krishna? It's a, isn't it his 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 most wonderful dear brother Balaram, who is the first expansion of Krishna? And he's actually the original servant of Krishna. So he is the Adi. He's the first Das, the Adi Das. 
So he's the first first servant of Krishna. So he, and he actually takes the role of serving Krishna as becoming his bed, his shoes. Like you find the the, the Nanta Shesh serpent, he lies down on the bed of the serpent. That's a form of Balaram. And so he's the Adi Das. So he's the original, the first servant of Krishna. So Adi, uh, Sananto. So what does Anta mean? Anta, we also said, Anta is the end. Anta, end, like Antia Lila. So Nanto, Nachadir, Adi. These are just, there's just Na in front of all these words. So it's Na Adi, Na Anto, Na, na Anta. And then there's another word there, Sampratishta. So I, I like to act these out, ones out. So Na Rupam Asyeha Tatopalabhyate. There's no this for, there's no no form of this that you can perceive. Nanto nachadir, no nanto nachadir, no end, no beginning, nasha sampratish, nasha sampratishta, and no support, no middle, no support, no basis. No rupa masyeha tatopla bhyate, nanto nachadir, nasha sampratishta. Ashvatam, again, we got our tree. Ashvatam enam. Suvaruda, be strong, mulam, very strong, mulam. And what does Sangha mean? Without looking at the book. Sangha, Sangha. Then this is Sangha? Association, yeah. So what is Asangha? No Dis association. Disassociation. So I usually like when I when I'm trying to kind of uh, haptically remember this. I asanga. Get away. <laughs> so that's detachment. Disassociation. Asanga. Sastrena. Sastra. This is there are two words. There's shastra and sastra. One has a long a. The other one has a short a. I forget which one is which. But one of them is weapon, and the other one is sacred literature. And hopefully, we can learn things through sacred literature. Then we don't have to get, you know, the the the, the, the big the yardstick out. So sastra, the the weapon, the detachment weapon, or the weapon of detachment, an axe of uh, renunciation detachment. Sastrena Drdena, very fixed, very firm, very, uh, not like, uh, I don't know, I don't know. Like a, I used to distribute books in New York, Srila Prabhupada's books on the street. As a monk, I sold my wife to be a book in the subway of Times Square. Whole cool story, tell you someday. Um, and I also used to do it in Portland, Oregon. And there were the opposites. New York, we like New York because People are like, either I'm interested or I'm not. And that's it, like 30 seconds. They'll, they'll let you know if they're interested or not. And in Portland, it would be like, uh, 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 let me, can you like talk to me about 30 minutes longer about this uh, $1 book? Because uh, I'm not sure. <laughs> so, Dredena, uh, very, very, very firm, very like just determined. And last word in that verse. Chitva, asanga, sastrena, dredena chitva. We can uh, help us, helps us to, to lock these words in. So let's look at it. I'll, I'll recite it again, and I'll just read the, that translation that includes the first half. Narupam asyehatato palabhyate, upalabhyate. Nanto nachadir nachasam pratishta ashvatam enam suvarudamulam. 
So maybe someone can look up that word rudha. Because these are all like, uh, su is already making it stronger. And V is even, like, these are two intensifiers. I don't know. I'm not like a full Sanskrit scholar, but I know su often means like very much. And V sometimes means opposite also is an intensifier. Yeah, yeah, very, very much. R Ruda so very, is beautiful. Rudha? I think. Rudha? R U D H A? What's the first thing that came up with? It was beautiful. Okay. And then maybe Let's we just see. look up Viruda. Viruda will probably find something. Viruda. So Viruda Mulam. So yeah, very strong. That Su is an intensifier. Mulam. Asanga Sastrena. Dirdhena Chitva. Shastrena. So yeah, there's no long A over Shastra. So that's the that's the Shastra. That is the weapon one. And then when you add the long A, that becomes, it's a different word. It means sacred literature. Shastra. Shastra and Shastra. I got the meaning of Viruddha just on the internet. Uh, meaning con conventional or traditional? Or Ruda, Ruda, sorry. Okay. Conve I don't know. Okay, so we can't figure that one out. <laughs> and then I found Ruta or yeah, Ruta one who has taken root so um, okay so it's, it could be very close to the mula uh, part yeah. it's just directly related to uh, the, the, the okay yeah sometimes it takes a little investigation to yeah. figure out but i think yeah, the, uh, we can just remember it's something strong tied in there really uh, uh, tightly can't be ripped out it has to be cut and what are we cutting? Uh, Prabhupada says it nicely. I have that book, uh, Surrender Unto Me, Uri John. And he just, he, a lot of times he's just repeating some of the stuff that we find in um, the purports. So it cannot be pulled out. The axe must be, must, that we must chop it. The axe with which we must chop it. That is made that acts is made of detachment and renunciation, and it's sharpened by knowledge and discrimination. And when we say knowledge in the Vedic tradition, knowledge really means the, dis, the ability to distinguish between the body, eternal, and the, 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 the eternal self and the material temporary situation, including this body. Knowledge does not mean like how many windows are in the Empire State Building. And that's not jnana or knowledge. That's information, but that's not what it's being referred to as knowledge. Okay, so any comments here, anybody? Okay, so I'll just read the, the real form of this tree cannot be perceived in this world. And like we said earlier, there's a lot of different elements you find in the, the purports that describe different aspects of the tree that are not immediately apparent in the verse itself. So it's, it's, it, we might get discouraged if we try to remember every little tiny point that's uh, related to this analogy. So if we could just understand the basic idea, then we can keep on moving forward. and, and um, Oftentimes, once we have those things, the verses locked down, then we can dig deeper and deeper and deeper. But he's saying here, it's, it cannot be perceived in this world. No one can understand where it ends, anta, where it begins, adi, not just some pratishta, or where its foundation is, some pratishta, pratishta, some pratishta. But with determination, one must cut down the strongly rooted tree with the weapon of detachment. So we got to get out of the material consciousness and thereafter seek out the source that's beyond, you know, the original, the actual root. Go back to the, the source of everything. So any, any reflections, comments there? Otherwise, we can move to 
practicing right we can start practicing with each other all right i just wanted to uh point out i didn't realize until maybe yesterday afternoon or something or maybe this morning it was that i've been so focused on uh trying to memorize the verse that i hadn't read the per any of the purports oh. <laughs> and i was i was just before the show i was kind of like gleaming through it a little bit i was like i don't think i've read it i was like i think i've just been yeah. trying to memorize a lot of important it but... stuff there yeah 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 i'll, I'll definitely be reading that later going yeah, when you those. when you when you read it when, once you have the once you start memorizing the verses the verses kind of serve as an index a mental index and it will help you remember those right. those points in the purports it's also very important to write things down any any point that is significant something that it's a new idea, some new point. Basic, uh, basically, the only thing you really remember, and a lot of times in your readings, is something you write down. Prabhupada said to remember is to write. Uh, we have Kali Yuga brains. Kali Yuga means uh, Manda Sumanda Matayo Manda Bhaga Upadruta. We're slow, we're misguided, we're forgetful, uh, we're overall always disturbed. Actually, uh, Raghunath, he recited that verse. He came to our house. He spent the night last night, the previous night. Previous night it was very, very sweet. It was great. We had a lot of fun. They showed up at right before midnight. We had a big old Mexican feast, uh, quesadillas and beans and rice and sour cream and guacamole and uh, salsa. And it was really good. Sweet kids. Kids are very polite. Thank you. Always thank you. Really sweet kids. And Ragana is just a wonderful human being, just a really sweet soul. And then they left. He left around 1.30 or so, and or maybe two, two something, 1.30, and then he wasn't sure if he lost his wallet. And so he came back. And it was cool because my daughter had my daughter didn't see him at night. And he didn't she didn't get to see him in the morning because the when she left for school, her, his kids were still asleep because they got here late. And so he, she got to meet the other, their, his kids too. So that was nice. Um, but I remember he brought up that verse, Manda Bhaga Manda Upadrutaha. Where, so Kali Yuga, we got to practice all these things to help us keep things memorized, to keep it in our mind. Because we, we forget things so easily. So yeah, one of the suggestions Srila Prabhupada gave, gave was to write. To remember is to write. Um, or to repeat something. It says if you repeat something seven times, usually that, that helps. Um, in previous ages, why, why did books come out? Why did, why did the Vedas start getting written? Were people getting smarter? No, they were getting dumber. <laughs> as, as the memory started to decrease, they realized, wait, wait, people can't. Not, you know, everybody can't remember, you know, a hundred thousand verses anymore. We got to write these things down. We're getting, we're getting slow here. People think, oh, books, now we're getting smarter. No, <laughs> it's just, this is because our brains got weaker. And so uh, you find that, yeah, the books came in existence right when Kali Yuga was supposedly supposed to start. Uh, oh, one thing I wanted to say, I said this to Chapu, that you, uh, how many of you have heard of the story of Gajendra the elephant. And Gajendra is the elephant was an elephant. It, there's a it's in the Srimad Bhagavatam, maybe fourth, fifth, or sixth canto. I can't remember which canto it's in. Uh, oh, he Clayton says third canto. Somewhere it's somewhere there. We'll come across it soon. And uh, Will Smith's daughter did a really beautiful song uh, about uh, glorifying that that. Uh, she doesn't say elephant, but she just the, the, the mood that the, the elephant had. The mood the, the elephant was basically struggling uh, in, in a river, was being attacked by an alligator. And due to being out of its element, it was had it was fighting for a, a very long time. But this was an elephant elephant in the higher planets. This was an elephant in the planet of the demigods. So they were fighting for years and years and years and years and years. And, years. and then in his utter helplessness he picked up a, a flower and he started holding it to the air and reciting these prayers from memory 
not from that life. They were just in the subconscious mem prayers, verses that he had practiced in his previous life was there. It started to come out. And immediately the Lord appeared. Uh, and uh, Sudarshan Chakra, the, the alligator, saved the elephant. And both of them actually went back to the spiritual world. They both got liberated. Um, so I wanted to say, yeah, even if we, you know, we memorize these things, it could help us in our next lives. All right, so we should break out in the rooms. Let's do that. Okay, one, two, three. I think it's Hare Krishna. Hare Bol. So you guys are up. So go ahead, Chapu. <laughs> Ladies first. Okay. Arupam Masyeha Tatopalapyate Nantona Chadir Nancha Samprastita. Ashvatam enam subirudamulam asangasastrena tritena chitva. Chandra, it is sastrena or shastrena? It's, sh, it's a sh sound. Shash, yeah. Shastrena. Yeah. Okay. Asangas, asanga shastrena tritena chitva. Yeah. Okay. Good job. <laughs> Very Thank good. you. I, I've had the gita here. I, I haven't memorized it yet. Don't don't give me that credit, please. <laughs> I was gonna say I haven't looked at verse three. I still don't have two memorized, so I haven't even looked at three. I didn't look. I I didn't look at either before I came good. here. Well, that so. was really good. Okay. So you you can read. <laughs> okay, thanks. Now rupam ashyaha tato pala ye. That's a big word, yeah. Yate. Yeah, it's, it's two words, tata and upalabhyate. Palabhyate. Palabhyate. Tato palabhyate. Nanto na chadir na cha sam pratishta. Ashvatam inam su bi. Rudha Mulam, Ashanga Shastrena, Dridena Chitva. Good. That was good. So you guys keep on doing it a couple times and start asking each other the words. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Getting used to yeah. reading the Sanskrit. This definitely helps helps you to kind of flow through it. So. So yeah, yeah. Um, I, I really like the way verse text three, I like the flow of text three, at least in a, in a particular um, meter that I am practicing it in. Like I really like the way, the way it goes. Um, the one I like to use is a bit quicker. Uh, yeah, I really like that one. That is, I like that too. That's smooth. Yeah. Okay. This is going to be broken, but we're going to go for it. <laughs> All right. Narupam Asyeha Tato Pala Biyat. That's a big word there. Yeah. That one was tough. Can you say that for me, Prabhu? Tato, uh, tato. so it's two words. It's tata, tata. and upalabhyate. Upalabhyate. Tato palabhyate. Tato palabhyate. Tato palabhyate. Tato palabhyate. Nanto na chadir nasa na nacha sampratishta. Ashvatam inam suveruda mulam 
Ashanga Shastra Sastrana 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 Yep Sangha Sastrana Dhridhena 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 Chitva All right, let's see if we can do it all together. Narupam Asyeha Tato Palapyate. That's a tough one. Nanto Nachadir Na Nas. Is that Sa or Cha? Nanto Nachadir Nachadir Sampratishta. Pratishta. Pratishta. Is that we accentuate that because it's at the second? Is that that rule? Uh, no, no, that's with the aha. This is a long a there though. Pratishta. Okay. Yeah. So pratishta. Ashvatam inam su varuda mulam. Ashanga sastrena. Dardhena chitva. Dridhena. Dri 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 like doctor. Dri dridhena. Okay. This is the yeah, same yeah. R that's in Krishna. Krishna. Okay. Yeah, the tongue roll on that one always always kind of trips me up a little bit. Yeah. I Was that three Z's? Haribo. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Um, you guys, are you guys reciting it to each other? Yeah, we're do, we're going back and forth. And you can also test each other on the words too. Okay, we were actually, uh, Prabhu, can you, you have a question? We have a question about pronunciation. Narupam uh, Asyeha, is it? Is it tato palabyate or yeah. tato? Because it's th. Tato, tato palabyate. So, so the two words, it's tata and upalabyate together, becomes tato palabyate. Okay. So it's like a T with an H, but it's not as in the. Oh, it's no, there's no tha. Th. There's no tha anywhere. Ah. Okay. Yeah. Like it's not ragunath. Which is so Raghunath. natural to say in English. It's Raghunath. 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 Yeah, not. Uh, I always call him Raghunath. Raghunath. <laughs> it's so it's hard for us English speakers not to say that. Yeah. Matura Nath. Matura Nath. It's hard to. Jagannath. I've been saying yeah. Matura wrong the whole time. Yeah. Ratha Yatra. Rafa Yatra is so like easy to say. <laughs> Rafa Yatra, yeah, Rafa Yatra. That's like the the natural English way to say it. Mm. Rata Yatra, Rata. And we there's a lot of huh, aspiration. I got when I tried to practice like doing Hindi and Sanskrit. I was like, I'm running out of breath here. <sighs> it's like there's so much uh, breathing involved. Like, we're not used to such subtle changes in, in, in pronunciation and our ears are so diff are so weak. We, someone says, Oh, this, it's not that S it's, or it's not this N it's that N. No, that's, there's just, just, just one N. No, there's four N's. <laughs> yeah. A little more complicated than English. Uh, our ears are not so uh, acute to hear all these different things too. It's hard. So what we, we were try, doing? Try as, try whatever we can. That's fine. Okay. Yeah. What we were doing, Prabhu, was we were just going like uh, line for line back and forth. So like That's I great. was, I was saying it once, then he would say it twice. Um, try to doing and I, so so then he I would do that three times for him. He would do that three times for me, and then we were just about to go. I think where we were trying to do one and two together. Oh, perfect. Uh, first and second line together so so um we didn't really quite get to the word for word part yet perfect, but perfect. Um, yeah that's a good idea it's kind of yeah. where we're at yeah nice nice okay okay uh
Nacha Sampratishta. Nanta Nacha dear Nacha Sam Sampratista. Good. Nanta Nacha dear Nacha Sampratista. Sentence. And then to be able to decipher that and go backwards, you have to know obviously what that is to be able to you know find the, the opposite of it. Okay. So, so you guys start trying to uh, do one line at a time um, from memory back and forth. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's what uh, Bailey and them were doing, and then and then I and I was gonna suggest the same to Chapu and, and Matt, but they're already doing it. <laughs> I was like, okay, okay. Yeah, this is a good idea. Now, Rupam Ase Aseha. Tato Tato a Tato Palabyate Palabyate Narupam Asyeha Tato Yate Where's I been? Um, so I'll go with um, go with the third line Ashvatam enam saguruta mulam. Nailed it. So try the last line. Oh, okay. Asanga, because we just talked about that. Warrior, yeah, because you said the warrior, uh, the weapon detachment, Sangha. Starts with an S. Shah. Shah. I don't Very know good. it at all. Shastrena. 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 Sangha. Shastrena. Dardena. Chitpa, yeah. Dana Chitpa at the cut. Dana Chitpa. Strana Chitpa. To make it. Okay. Translation is something like to cut the. Um... I have to get that line in English. Uh... To Dana is strong, yeah. Chitpa is cutting. Yeah. Cut the uh, uh so with the weapon of detachment, yeah, yeah, the, the shastra of, of asanga, uh, uh, in a very determined way, a very strong way, cut it. With with determination, yes, you cut and cut this tree down, yeah, to cut the. Your connection to it. Yeah. Yeah. Because your connection to the material world. Yeah. yeah. And thereafter, seek out that, that source from whom everything comes from. To ta uh, yeah. That's a, that's first four. Yeah. And uh, line two. I'm blanking on my two. Nanta. Uh, ah, yeah. Nanta Nacha, dear. Nacha Sam Pratishta. Nailed it. Um, let's see. And Sam Pratishta is. Sam Pratishta is the to be perceived, to perceive. Or, no. Oh, that's. The foundation. I am foundation. Pratishta. You can. Try to say oh, it. The love you take is, uh, yeah, can be perceived. Try, try to do it with. Try to uh, engage your hands as well. Okay. Memorizing the meaning is like not in our map. So engage with your hands. What again? Uh, Use your hands. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. For, for the meanings, right? Yeah. 
<laughs> we are making the first two lines, Chandra. Please nice. be patient. <laughs> no, it's good. It's good. It's very good. You guys are doing well. So the uh, what is the first what first line? Narupam asieha tato palabiate. Narupam. Pam asieha tato palabiate. Can't be perceived. That that form. Uh, Cannot be perceived. Manto, a chadir, a chasam pratishta. No end, no beginning, no beginning and, and no foundation. 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 What, what's the next line? Uh, Ashvatam, enam. Ashvatam, you know, tree. Enam. 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 Varuda, very strong. Uh, Varuda. Asanga, Sastrena, Dridena, very determined Dredena. with determination, Chitva. Chitva. Okay. Are, are you ready to move to you the You want to go line? to the third line? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Tato <laughs> Palabyate. Nanto na cha dear na cha sam pratishta. Yep, that was good, except for asyeha, not asyehe. Yes, asyeha. Am I getting tato palabyate? I feel like I'm missing. No, that's good. You got that's it. That's good. Yep. Okay, ready? Narupam, mm. narupam asyeha tato palabyate. Nanto na chadir na cha sampratishta. Na rupam asyeha tato palabyate. Nanto na chadir na cha sampratishta. Awesome. And see if you can uh, engage those haptics. Mm. Na. That way you don't even have to think, you know, you're, you're art, it's like you're doing two things at once. Na, rupam, aseha. You could, you could skip aseha. You could skip some of the, like the little, uh, you know, just a kind of the, aseha means just this, this tree right. that we're talking about. The, the, uh, na, rupam, aseha, tato palabyate. This, no form can be perceived. Mm. You know? Nanto, Na cha dir, na cha sam pratisha. No end, no beginning, no foundation. No end, no beginning, no foundation. Okay. And uh, Ashvatam, this tree, mm. enam suvaruda, very strong, mulams, very strong roots. Suviruda, mulam. Asanga. Sastrena. Shastrena. The, the weapon. Shastrena. A weapon of detachment weapon. Very determined with determination, Chitva. With determination, Chitva. Dridhena, Dridhena Chitva. So Dridhena. Dridhena Chitva. Chitva. Okay, so Narupam Asyeha Tato Palabyate um, <laughs> Nanto nan, ah, Nanto Nachadir Nachasam Pratishta um, Ashvatam Ashvatam Enam Ashvatam Enam um, Very strong. Viruda. Ashvatam enam viruda mulam. It's, it's not just viruda, it's suviruda. Oh, suviruda su mulam. Very strong. Suviru no, oh, okay, wait, wait, wait. wait what's su viruda again? Uh, strongly, yeah. yeah. Suviruda, suviruda mulam. Asanga shastrena. Dridhena Chitva. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's cool, actually. That works. That's awesome. Yeah. 
Your turn. Oh. <clears throat> I'm just going to try the haptics while reading it. <clears throat> okay. No rupam asyeha tato palabyate namto na chadir na cha that's the that's that yeah. ash the tom uh, enam suviruda mulam asanga asanga pastrena sastrena this weapon asanga's oh so no so a detachment detachment weapon detachment weapon okay asanga's shastrena Durdana Chitva. Yeah. And then Durdana is like this, this determination. determination. It's not like strength, oh, okay. but it's more like yeah. determination. Yeah. Yes. Okay. And then the Chitva. That's awesome. Maybe let's go. Should we go back to uh, the all together or? Yeah. Okay, let's head there. Close all rooms. Hare Krishna. Hare Bowl. Thanks. Oh, hello. <laughs> Howdy, Bo. Howdy. Where's everybody? Got two. I think there's two more. They're, they're probably closing their eyes, chanting the first. In, in Samadhi. Yeah. 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 Dr. Matthew was, said he was in Samadhi earlier. So, you know, maybe. <laughs> Maybe you got stuck there again. Maybe uh, Chapu was trying to wake him up and putting a dead snake around his neck. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Man, whoever, that, I remember somebody put on Discord, they, they said their, their, their dog offended. They had like a, a, a stuff, uh, like a, 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 a plushy stuffed snake, and they wrapped it around their dog's neck. It was really funny. He said, he offended me, so I put this plushy snake on his <laughs> Somewhere on Discord, I, was, I thought it was hilarious. My, uh, my grandmother had sort of like a fear of snakes, and my sister would like trick her all the time. Oh. She would like, yeah, just like take a fake snake and just like throw it on her shoulders. She'd be like in the kitchen, like wash some dishes, just flip out. Oh, no. And she'd, she'd video so her doing it all the time. My wife is so afraid. Yeah, she may, you know, that would, she would not, she would like adopt that child out. <laughs> My wife is so afraid of snakes. Uh, so I was thinking about this, the determination. And, and, and when, the, when, he, when the last part of the verse, when it says the, the determination, uh, Chitva, it rem reminded me of a completely separate story that Srila Prabhupada talks about kind of just the stubbornness that people fight in this material world. Kali Yuga is the age of fighting, the age of quarrel. Uh, so th these two men were, were arguing over like what was more effective for a certain thing, a scissors or a knife. And they were fighting and I think one of them pushed the other into a lake and the other, as the other one was drowning, he, you know, put his arm in the air. <laughs> as he was like, oh, and scissors. And as he's dying. <laughs> so, yeah. So hopefully we can have that same Dardena, but for cutting our attachments and not caring who wins the argument. <laughs> um, how about some some uh, somebody can do show do do it for everybody share everyone can share it let's start with clayton give a little practice to everyone show everybody i don't know if i can do the whole verse from memory but uh okay uh, i've just uh, what did you call it the the hand motions haptics haptics <laughs> yeah okay um Na rupam asyeha tato palabyate nanto um, nanto na chadir 
Nacha Sampratishta. The ah. deity tree. Yeah. Ashvatam. Enam. Ashvatam Enam. Suviruda. Suviruda Mulam. Asanga Shastrena. Dridhena Chitva. Haribo. Anybody else? Who wants to try one, two, and three together? Come on, Bailey. Bailey. What? Swing bad about it. I don't have I, I don't have three memorized. I don't know the haptics for one and two either, but I could go okay. one and I could go one and two. One and, and two, then yeah. haptics on three. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And All then right. later on try to do try to do some of the uh, the haptics things that you know that helps you uh, memorize those words and lock down the meanings. It's, right. it's a little easier on the brain than just thinking, oh, this means this, this yeah. means that, means this, this means that. Means like when you do yeah. it. All right. Okay. You're up. Oh, all right. All right. Shri Bhagavan Vacha Urdva Mulam Dasha Kam Ashvatam Prahura Vyavyam Chandamsi Yasya Parnani Yastam Vedasa Vedavit Adachorvam Prasartas Tasya Shaka Guna Pravrida Vishaya Pravalaha Adash Shamulani Anu Santatani Karma Nu Bandini Manushya Loke Yes, yes. <clears throat> Na rupam, na rupam, asyeha tato palabyate, nanto na chadir, na cha sampratishta, ashvatam, enam, suviruda mulam, asanga, strasana, durdana. Chitma. Yeah. Shastrina, Shastrina. Very good, very good, very good. Somebody else want to uh, recite one and two? Chance? Want to give a shot? One, two? Sure. <clears throat> Sri Bhagavan Ubacha, Urva Mulam Adachakam. Ashvatam Parhor of Yayam, Tindamthias Sipurnani, just Tambera Sambera bit. Aras Chorvam Prasutas the Shishaka, Guna Prafrita, Vishya Pravala, Aras Chamulani and Usantatani, Kamanu Bantini Manusha Loke. Um, I'll try three. All right. Um, Narupa Masihe Tato Palapyate Nanta Machada Natasam Pratishta Asvatam Enam Sivaruta Mulam Detachment Asanga Shastrina Ruthena Chitpa. Yeah, nice. thank you. Anybody else? Now, yet, now, when you're at home, keep on doing it. Try to do it all together. No, of course. Oh, Chapu G. Yeah, Chapu's up. Okay. Sri Bhagavan Ubacha Urdwa Molam Madashakam Ashvatam Prahuravyam Chandam siyasya parnani, yastam veda sa veda vit. Adas chorduam prasitras tasya shakam, guna pravidas visaya pravalam. 
Adas Chamulani, Anu Santatani, Karmanu Bandini, Manu Shaloke. And this is Narupa Masyeham, Tato Palabiate. Mm, um, wait. Mm. <laughs> Nacha. No, Nanto Nachadir, Nacha Sampratishtam, Ashvatamenam, um, Ashvatamenam, Su. Very strong. Suvirudamulam, Asanga Shastrena, Dridena Chitwa. Very <laughs> okay. good, very so, good. So, very so, good. so, so, so. <laughs> So we're gonna put you in a recording studio and record yeah, that. Was, that was really good. Yeah. Your whole <laughs> chapter fifteen. So uh, just two two notes. I I believe uh, you might have said shakam. Okay. Uh, where a uh, verse one does say shakam, but verse two says shaka. It doesn't have the M. Mm. And that's yes, uh, shaka. And I think verse three also there was a. a some pratishtam, but it's pratishta. Some pratishta. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So okay. there's that. Sometimes yeah. you, it's like you. the same word is there, but then, you know, one sometimes it has the M and then sometimes it doesn't. So it's like they get mixed together. I, many times I, I'll, I'll, I'll go and I'll memorize a whole chapter uh, or, or what, you know, so many verses. And then, you know, way later, I just realized, oh my God, I thought I was doing it right, but then I, you know, it got you know it got mixed with some other verse, and I or the the shaka the shaka becomes the shaka. No, that was very good, very good, very good. So back to Matthew is heading out. This is about this is an hour so far. So any um, reflections? Anybody want to can share anything that you have? Any any uh, ideas that came up? Anything you want to take home yes. other than the verse that you were all sharing? Yes. Let me find. So in the purport of 3-4, um, the second, the first paragraph, there's a quote, I am the son of my father. My father is the son of such and such a person, etc. By searching in this way, one comes to Brahma, who is generated by the Garbodakashayi Vishnu. I just thought that was a great little nugget, little access point to meditate on today. Nice, nice. That was, um, if you notice, there was, there's a, there's a purport. And I'm just, by you reading that, it made me realize the connection because in the purport by, oh, who is this? This is Vishnu, Balade Vidyabhushan. Balade Vidyabhushan says, rather, all that is understood is I'm a human, the son of Yagyadatta, father of Devadatta. And so he's saying the same thing, like we have this idea that I'm this, that person. But Prabhupada and they, they're saying we should keep on following it all the way back and find out the root. Take it, take, you know, we may think we're this body, but then if even if you take, think you are this body, then take it all the way back. Where, there's, where, does, it, where, where does the root come from? And then finally, at the end of all that research, one has to search out the origin of this tree, the supreme personality of Godhead. Yes. Well, thank you. Thank you for sharing that, Bailey. And, uh, and to that point as well, I, I can't remember if it was where I read it or if I heard it on Wisdom of the Sages, but they, it was saying that, they were saying that uh, to get to this point, you have to have you have to ha uh, have started that questioning process. Like, like it says just before the verse, no one, or that quote you read, no one can see how far the tree extends, nor can one see the beginning of this tree, yet one has to find out the cause. Um, and you have to, by searching in this way, one comes to Brahma. Um, yeah. So you have to begin that search, even though you, you, know, you ultimately may run yourself in circles, but you have to begin that search to, to get to this point hey, to find the root. Some, sometimes the agnostic, atheistic person is 
further down his path than the you know ritualistic religionists. And because he's 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 he may in his path have re rejected religion because he's looking for truth and he just finds all kinds of BS. It doesn't make any sense. Um, yeah, up until up until probably a year and a half ago or so, I was uh, atheist agnostic sort of thing. For a, for a long time, I had thought myself atheist, but then I just sort of begun to accept the mystery that I really don't know. How can I know? Yeah. You know, I can't, I can't understand it. Uh, I can understand perhaps what I see, but yeah. Um, but yeah, I don't really know. In chapter six, uh, Krishna says, Arjuna asks, what's this, this question? What if someone doesn't, you know, finish their spiritual life? What happens? Are they just like, you know, maybe they didn't, maybe they practice spiritual life and they gave up materials pursuits because of that. So are they just, you know, is it just a waste? He said, no, 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 there's, there's, there's no loss. And he says, purva abhyasena teneva. Purva means again, abhyas means practice. Again, he'll bring up his spiritual practice. Teneva, shriyate, as if uh, avasha, as if automatically without cause being pulled by the heart, just like purva abhyasena teneva, shriyate hyabhisopisa. Jigyasur, such an inquisitive, such, such a thoughtful soul. Api yogyasya, Shabda Brahma Ativartate. He is higher situated in his path than someone who is uh, just ritualistically religious, a person who is actually jigyasa or really seeking to know the truth. And so, yeah, thank you for sharing. Yeah, we must be have that inquisitive nature. Prabhu, I have a, I have a question for you. And, yes. Uh, so maybe, you know, I don't know, but I was, I found it curious in the first shloka that it's Sri Bhagavan Uvacha, right? The Supreme Personality of God had said, and then Krishna himself is saying, it is said. Oh, so yeah, yeah, yeah. Is there any, is there any story like related to that? Like where, where did he, hear, where did Krishna hear this from? Well, you'll find that, uh, the, I think somebody was sharing, this is, this is, this uh, Banyan tree analogy is in the Upanishads. Mm. And Krishna says this throughout the Gita. He says, um, not just for this, but he says, great sages, even Krishna refers to the authority, the Shabda Brahma, the, the spiritual the tradition or spiritual authority. In fact, Krishna once spoke something uh, not according to authority. He told his father, uh, about the, the Govardhan Puja, who's convincing him to um, give up the worship of Indra. And he said, you know, rain just comes, like it goes everywhere. It just rains on rocks. And, you know, if you don't, you don't have to do anything. You, and it, actually, um, the Acharyas, all the Acharyas, everybody say, you know, Krishna's actually uh, speaking against the Sastra right now. He's, he's speaking antithetical to his own teachings. And we don't accept it. And he doesn't accept it, you know. So even Krishna, he uses this austerity of speech, meaning he refers to sacred tradition when he's trying to prove uh, some point. He he says, uh, there's several points in the Gita where he says that. He says, the sages say that, that, that you know, he also says, this is my opinion, which is also very important. Scott, <laughs> his opinion is the, the buck stops there. But he does uh, often show that fidelity that you know i i'm i'm speaking according to the upanishads the sastra thank you that's actually cool i didn't know that yeah very very cool all right well thank you om tat sat thanks a lot Hare krishna Hare krishna, Hare krishna. thank you everyone yes thank you everyone thank you <laughs>